Dear friends, in the lecture series of Digital Fundamental Digital Electronics, today we will discuss the two input logic operations, all the type of logic gates, and can we extend the input of logic gates with the help of Boolean algebra theorem? So let's start with this thing. Remember the thing. When the two binary operators end in or are placed between two variables x and y, so we normally say that x dot y is the end operator and x plus y is the or operator. But as we know that here x and y, two raised to two to four combinations are there, and for this all four combination, two raised to four sixteen type of the logical Boolean functions we can implement. So the number of possible Boolean functions are 16. Therefore, AND and OR functions are only two out of the 16 possibility combinations. It will be instructive to find out the functions and investigate their properties. Here, this truth table is so the two variable x and y and the possibility of the different functions from f0, f1 to f15. So there is a 16 possible combinations and each functions have their own assignment as f0, f1 in this way. Like you see here, f0 shows that in every combination the output is 0. Okay, so it is called as a binary constant 0 or null, f0. While f1 we see the the output is 1 only when the both input are 1, 1. So we can say that it is an end operator x and y both are 1 then and then this f1 will become 1. f2 we found that 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 on when x but not y means x is 1, y is 0. Only in this combination the output is 1. So it will be indicated by x, y dash. Remaining all functionality, the result is 0. It is also known as inhibitions. X over Y inhibitions. F3. F3, the value is same replica like as a X. In F, X is 0. F3 is 0. If X is 1, F3 is 1. So we can finally say that it is a transfer, the value of X. F3 is equal to X. It is also known as a buffer function. Uh, whatever the input value is transferred to the output side. F4. In the F4 column, only one combination, the output is 1 and it is 0, y. So we can say that 0, y means x test y. This is also inhibitions, but y over x is x inhibitions. Uh, the comments, we can say that y, but not x, means 1 is y, x is 0. So, in the combination of 0, 1, the function f4 is 1. f5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. It is same like as a y column. So, we can say that f5 is y, transfer the value of y, it is like as a y buffer. f6, 0, 1, 1, 0. Whenever both the inputs are not similar, at that time output is 0, but Whenever both inputs are different, so it is output is 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0. So it is known as an exclusive or x or y, any one is 0 but not both. If both are 1, 1, the output is 0. So this is a symbol, circle and inside the sum. So it is known as an exclusive or or and specially exclusive. And the function, Boolean function is x, y dash or y dash x. Remember that thing. It will be helpful to find out the many boolean or digital circuit uh, when we design with the help of exclusive or. F7. F7 is 0 and remaining combinations is R1. When both input are 0, 0, 0. So it's simply or function is that x or y. While F8 is 1 and remaining all 0. It says a complement of OR gate. So it is called as a not or and in name we use nor, not or, nor and the symbol is downside arrow, x downside 
arrow y is equal to nor gate uh, and it is indicated by x or y whole bar okay now let's see when another, another function f9 f9 1 double 0 1 it is a in uh, inversion of the exclusive or so when both inputs are same 0 0 or 1 1 the output is 1 here in f9 so it is known as a equivalence exclusive nor x is equal to x equal y then and then the output is 1 normally this gate is helpful to come check the two inputs are same or not and the function f9 is indicated by x y or x dash y dash symbol is a uh, big circle and inside there is one dot okay it is a complement of f6 f9 is a complement of f6 f10 it is simply 1010 one, it says inverse complement not y it is integrated by y dash f11 x plus y dash implication if y then x if y y equal to 1 then check the x so x or in y dash f11 f12 is 1 1 0 0 it is the complement of this x so it is indicated x dash not x while f3 13 1 1 0 1 so we can say that it is x dash or y means if x then what is the value of y is implemented so x must be required 1 then and then whatever the value of y it is implicated at the output side f14 is 1110 means we can say that it is a complement of and gate so it is known as a not nand and nand gate okay and it is upside arrow is that and f15 all inputs are one so we can say that always one binary constant one identity one this 16 f0 to f8 and f9 to f15 this 16 combinations are possible the two functions that produce constant 0 and 1 which one f0 and f15 four function with on area operation complement and transfer this y dash x dash and transfer x and y while the 10 function with the binary operator that defines eight different operations like is end operation or operation nand operation this f14 nor operation f8 exclusive or and equivalence a complement of the exclusive or inhibitions and implications inhibitions and implications this three categories are identified or 16 combinations we have any function can equal to be constant but binary function can be equal to only one and zero the complement functions produce the complement of each of the binary examples okay the norm function this function now let's see one by one uh, how we can define what are the graphical symbols, uh, whatever the algebraic functions of each and every function is there. So first is AND gate. The symbol is, is that it is like is a simple gate and one circular here. Two input X and Y and one output is F. It is indicated F equal to X dot Y and the truth table is that whenever both the inputs are 1 then and then the output gate is 1. Remember the thing the second another possibility is OR gate here the arc are there at input side and here the symbol is different. Normally symbol is used to represent any digital circuit on black and white means uh, uh, in, on the paper how we can draw the different type of gates and explain the circuits. Uh, because normally the components are available in integrated package it is very difficult to draw the actual logical circuits uh, with the help of ic it is better that thing use the graphical symbol 
to represent any digital circuit. So here in R function, the symbol is with the help of R, both have a different symbols and the function is X or Y or you can say that X plus Y uh, and the output is one if any one input is one. And the third basic gate is NOT gate, inverter, NOT gate, both are similar, one triangular with the bubble. The meaning of bubble is that F is equal to complement of X. If X is 0, output is 1. If 1, output is 0. Remember that things, if bubble is not present, that means it is buffer gate. Whatever the input, it is simply implement the output side. The possibility of the constructing gates for the other logical operation is a practical interest. Factors to be weighted when the considering the construction of the other type of logic gates are 1 is the feasibility and economy of producing the gate with physical component. The second thing is that the possibility of extend the gate more than two inputs. If here the input is x and y, so is it possible to uh, uh, extend the more input? So it will reduce the circuit size. The basic properties of the binary operators such as a commutative and associative. Uh, as we know that the commutative is uh, for applicable for two variable, we can change the variable position and associative is related with the three variable input, we can change the three or more, it can be we change the uh, position but the functionality remains same. And the ability of the gate implement the boolean function alone or in conjunction with the other gates. So here this table, the three gates are seen, now let's see the another, the second, next is the triangular with a direct buffer. Buffer the functionality is normally whatever the input we have to just pass on the, at the output side. Uh, Sometimes to increase the signal uh, level to remove the noise or to increase the current level buffer is used in any digital circuit. And next is the NAND gate. So it is NOR AND, NOT AND. So NOT means bubble is there. And the symbol with bubble. So it will become x, y, whole dash. So if any one is a 0, output is 1. In both 1, output is 0. This is the NAND operation. Uh, gate is that. The NAND function is the complement of AND function. And it is indicated by the graphical symbol consists of AND graphic symbol followed by a small circle. Similarly, for the NOR function, the NOR function is a same like as the function, the symbol, graphical symbol is a consist of or graphical symbol followed by a small circle. Small circle is indicated that the inverter or not complement of the AND or OR gate. This is because NAND and NOR gates are easily constructed with the transistor circuit. And because of Boolean function can be easily implemented with them, NAND and NOR gates are exclusively used as a standard logic gates and are in fact for more popular than the AND and OR gate. Remember or not down, NAND and NOR gates are popular and used extensively as a standard logic gate because it can be easily constructed, directly constructed with the help of transistor circuits and because boolean function also can be easily implemented with them. We will discuss later on in the next lectures uh, how we can implement any function with this NAND and OR gate. Another important gates are exclusive OR gate. So a simple OR gate and with one additional R at the input side graphically. So the graphical symbol is very similar like as the OR gate except the additional curve. This additional curve at the input side and the uh, uh, function is x y dash or x dash y when both inputs are different then and then output is zero. if both inputs are same the output is zero similarly x nor exclusive nor the complement of this function x y or x dash y dash means both, both input are same then and then output is one so it is also popularly known as a equivalence gate equivalence gate uh, to compare the any unknown two number equivalence gate is popular. Now this every gates we have discussed that only for two input. 
But can we extend the multiple input except the inverter and buffer? Because inverter and buffer are only one input gate is that remaining all are two input. So a gate can be extended to have a multiple input. Uh, we will discuss in which condition it's possible. So remember that thing. If a gate can be extended, the multiple input if it is satisfied, commutative and associative. Let's see. Suppose I have a OR function. So commutative law says that the x or in y is equal to y or in x, whatever the input is in, uh, it and it is applicable. And, but the associative law says that if there is a three input, so first two of op, uh, input operator operate the OR function and whatever the output is operate with z or first we operate the y, z and then x and it will become x or y or z. This is associative law. Let's see with the graphical symbol. Is it possible? Suppose here the function first x or in y, whatever the output is or in with the z. So two, two input or gate is used. If I change the position, this one, x, which is or in with the result of y or in z. So is it similarly? Yes. If we change the any number of variables, the output remains same in OR function. Remember that thing. Similarly, it is also applicable for AND gate. If I am changing the position of X, Y, Z, the output remains same. Because it is not depend on the, uh, it is depends on any one variable. Any one variable is one, the output is one in OR gate. And in AND gate, if any one input is one, zero, then output is zero in AND gate. So, it is indicated that the gate inputs can be interchanged and that are the OR function can be extend three or more variable. Similarly, AND gate can be also extend three or more variable. Now, let's see NAND and NOR operators are not associated. First, we operate NOR, X and Y and whatever the output is operated with Z, it is not similar like as this one. So, let's see. Suppose x or in y z left hand side. So first we operate this one nor. So it will become D Morgan's theorem. When I, I expand this function, so this dash dash reduce and or operator is ended with end operator z dash. So expansion will become x z dash plus y z dash. Like in RHS side, first we operate nor this one. So x or in y or in z hold this and hold this. So if I uh, expand this square uh, bracket with the De Morgan's theorem, x will become replaced by x this. This or operator replaced by end operator. Y hold this y or y plus z hold this this will become y plus z. So x this y plus x this z. And these are not similar. So we can say that it is not a associative. See here, the symboling is said that first x, y, nor output is noring with z, while for second is say that first y and z, nor whatever the output, it is noring with the x function, so both are not. Remember that thing, NAND and nor operator are not associative, but it can be commutative. x or in y or in z, we can directly say that x plus y plus z dash. So multiple input is, are possible, but the, to change the variable position is not possible. So NAND and NOR gate are not associative, but are commutative. So to overcome this difficulty, we define the multiple NOR and multiple NAND gate and complement OR. So thus, the definition we have X or NOR Y NOR Z is equal to X plus Y plus Z this and x nand y nand z is equal to x y z whole test okay the graphical symbol says that so cascading have a different functionality now about the exclusive or unequivalence both are commutative and associative so it can be extended more than two input suppose i first exclusive two i have only two input exclusive or gate 
and my function will become three variable. So x y exclusive or oring with z, it is same like as the three input x or gate. The functionality says that if three input zero zero zero, the output is zero in the both the case. Zero zero one output is one. Here c x y zero zero, the output is zero, and here one is there. So zero one, the output is one. Okay. Zero one zero. So x y zero one. Both are different. So here one zero one zero output is zero. Uh, out one zero one zero one this combination and zero zero uh, one, uh, zero then output will become one zero one here output is one z is also one so both are one exclusive output is zero now if x and y both are different one zero so one zero again output is one but if this will become zero one zero the output is one and one one the output is zero. Again, in last two combination, the exclusive or output is zero always here in these two combination. Why? If the output is zero, so zero with zero x or zero, and zero with x or one is one. See here, the exclusive or gate functionality three input exclusive or gate or multiple input exclusive or gate are uncommon from the hardware standpoint. In fact, even a two input function is usually constructed with the other type of gate. Moreover, the definition function must be modified the extent in more than two variables. The exclusive OR gate is an odd function. Exclusive OR gate is an odd function. Means it is equal to one if the input variable have an odd number of ones. See here. One. So how many one in there? One input. One again only one input is one. Zero. So two inputs are one. One one input is one. Zero. Why? Because the two inputs are one. Here also two inputs are one. So zero and one because the three variables are one. So if odd number inputs are one, then output is one. So it is known as a odd function. And equivalence the opposite. It is a even function. It, it will be helpful this functionality to make uh, any type of the logical and boolean expression. So today we discuss the two input logic operations, digital logic gates, uh, all different combinations of digital logic gate, and how we can extend the multiple inputs with the help of commutative and assertative law. I hope is it making sense? Have a good day.